What's important about sleep to realize is that it does a few things. One is that it's regulating your body's natural circadian rhythms. And our bodies have a section in the, in the brain at the bottom here called the SCN, and it's about 20,000 neurons that tick over every roughly 24 hours. And they've got this cycle of proteins that are controls genes, and they, they change through that 24-hour cycle. Now, it's not just your brain that's keeping track of the clock. Um, it's the rest of your organs. Your organs are also ticking over, but they're regulated somewhat independently, um, although they do connect through chemicals and sometimes through nerves. But you can actually have things out of whack. So your brain might be uh, all registered through the light that you see if you travel to Australia, for example, from the US. But your other organs may not register the time difference. And then that's what you get with jet lag, that your liver thinks it's the middle of the night and then your brain thinks it's daylight. And that's why you feel queasy when you get to a new place. So what you can do is you can reset your system. Either if you shift work, you're not getting enough sleep, or you travel, you can actually reset those nerves down there. And what, what I do is I do some meditation. I try to eat um, only when it's a proper meal time. So, you know, I try to do one meal a day. I'm, often I'm, I'm not good at that. But when I get to my place uh, of travel, I will eat a meal. But prior to that, let's say on the airplane, I try to eat as little as possible. That ability to fast and then eat really helps reset those neurons in your brain for a new time zone. Um, and it also helps reset your clock if you're not sleeping well. The other thing that I do is I, I it's no secret, I take an NAD boosting molecule called NMN. And I do that in the morning, especially when I travel, I, I might take an extra dose. I do that because that, that little cycle that's in the nerves is regulated by NAD, which is something we've studied in my lab for decades now. And it controls a, an enzyme called SIRT1 that controls the clock. Now, anyone who's been paying attention or has read Lifespan, the book, knows that SIRT1 and NAD aren't just important for the clock in terms of this 24-hour clock. They're important for your biological clock, how fast you age. Uh, and actually, by taking in a man, we actually, we think that we can uh, slow down the aging process as well. But this is the key. The key is that your sleep-wake cycle and your aging rate are intimately linked, inextricably linked actually, by this NAD SIRT1 cycle. You don't sleep well, you probably will age more quickly. And as you age, you sleep less. So you want to make sure you don't get into that, that vicious cycle um, and get enough sleep and make sure your rhythms are maintained.